Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, AKA Educator Alexander, and here's your five minute tip for this week. So I just wanted to go through some of the new host controls that were added to your Google Meet account. So I started this Google Meet from my Google Classroom, but it doesn't really matter. You can start it from Google Classroom, you can start it from just the regular Meet or Calendar. It's all going to work the same way or Gmail, all the different ways you can get to Google Meet. But what I wanna show you is the host control. So I just clicked on the link to start the Meet, nothing special, but you'll see a little icon that has been added. If you don't see the little icon yet, then your district may not have rolled it out just yet, but it is coming. So if you see this little icon, I can click here, and now I have some awesome host controls that we've been asking for. So the first one down here that I'm gonna show you is share their screen. So if you don't want your students to be able to share their screen and like take over your screen, you can turn that off. Do you want them to send chat messages? Not private messages, just the regular old chat. Yes or no, you can turn that off. And then you have, when you have turned this off, they have to ask to join. So I don't care if they're in your Google Classroom or not, if they weren't invited to the meeting, like through a Google Calendar, then if you turn this off, if they have not been invited, they will have to ask to join. This is your waiting room. So if you've been waiting for a waiting room, there you go. So I wanna show you how this looks on the student side. So I'm gonna turn all of this back on for now, and I'm going to go to my student account. So my student account is going to join my Google Meet. And notice they can chat, they have the present now button, and you notice they came straight in, right? Like a normal Meet. But now what I wanna do is I'm gonna turn everything off at the same time. Now, of course you don't have to do that, but just for time purposes, I'm gonna turn everything off at the same time. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to my student account and I am going to join my Meet. First thing that has changed is it says ask to join. So notice it doesn't say like going to the meeting. So if I click ask to join, notice I'm now in a waiting room as the student or whatever participant you want. So if I go back to the teacher side, you'll see, if you saw that little thing that popped up, it said, hey, so-and-so asked to join and you could click join. I just wasn't quick enough. So if I come here to the participants, notice the box comes back up. So it's like, hey, somebody's waiting to get in. So if you ever are not quick enough to catch them, just come click here and there you go. So now I can either say no or yes. So I'm going to admit my student. So now my student is in you'll see that the student is now in the class. But remember, I turned off all the rest of that stuff. So notice they no longer have a button to present their screen because I turned it off. And if I come here to the chat feature, it is gray out. So it looks like it's sitting there, but when I try to, I'm clicking on it right now, it's not letting me do anything to it. The cool thing about this is you can go back and forth turning it on and off. So if I come back here and I say, you know what? Now I want you to chat. If I come to the student side, the chat is suddenly active. If I want to say, now you can share your screen. Teacher side. If I come to the student side, now my present now button is back. So that's the kind of host controls that you can use now. We're very excited about having these um, and having them kind of in a little button that's very quick access. Notice you can view all host settings. You pretty much have the same thing, but more may be added. The other thing that has been added is under the three dots, if you come to change layout, Instead of only seeing 16 tiles, you can now put that up to 49 tiles. So that's awesome too. You can see more of your students on the screen. If you choose spotlight or sidebar, these are the two that we've had before. It won't let you do this because of course it's not a tiled. But if you do this one, yes. And then what auto is, is it'll change the layout. Once you present the screen, it's gonna go into spotlight. Once the, pre the screen is not presented, it's gonna go back to tile. So I love this option. And notice you can change the tile number here if you do auto. Your students have these exact same layouts that they can choose from. So keep that in mind. 
So just a couple of new changes to Google Meet. More and more will be added. I'll try to keep you updated as they do and have a great rest of your day.